Is this the Greek? That is the Greek bridge. Okay. So let's just go there. And then let's check that out too. I'm kind of curious. Okay. So fast travel here currently. Gives us a good opportunity to check the loading times on this game if I'm just apparating around on the entire island. I guess that's not bad. I gotta wait for my textures to load in though. Any news? Excuse me. All the newspapers are sold out. All right, no updates. Probably only happens when something major occurs. Ooh, what's going on over here? Can I fuck up your painting? You're not even drawing the landscape. It just comes out here to get inspired, I guess. We found the clothing trader. What are you boys doing here? Thought this was a crime scene for a second. Is it a crime scene? Simply the best garments on the, the finest clothes for the finest citizen. What do you got for me? Uh, some disguises, uh, rentals, a shabby suit, a worn out suit, hats. See, but what does this, what's that symbol mean? Does that mean like, of course, think it's over. Take a does that mean I already have it? What's that like symbol mean? It's probably in here somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. John will challenge you with a special objective. Use concentrate. Oh, that's what that I meant. Okay. You're right. I thought that's what it meant. I'm trying to see the uh, the whole thing about uh, dressing the part. And just seeing what that like symbol meant. I think it's something that I own, but you know, I don't know. I'll just keep this on, I guess. Let me change John back. I, I'm kind of, I get kind of annoyed with how vibrant that thing is. Come, take a look at our clothes and accessories. Yeah, yeah. Art trader. Aha ha. Masterpieces by local artists at an afford. My goods will brighten up your house. So I'm supposed to buy these for the home. Ah, the family portrait. A map of London. Violet's portrait. And a sketch of a boy. Gotta get that. Gotta get the picture of my mother. I mean, I might as well get these, right? Your purchase. Sorry, I have nothing to offer you at present. And those are probably more worthwhile to pick up than the... Uh... Wait. Did I... Oh, and the garden decor. Those are probably more worthwhile to pick up than clothing, considering that I can just... Goods. My goods will up I can just house. rent the clothing. So there's no need to pick up anything else. David and Goliath. Yeah, okay. So I might as well decorate the house, considering that Enjoy your purchase. those purchases have to be permanent. What did I just get? Tale of the Empty House. I retrieved all the items. Now that space has been restored. I wonder if it brings back some memories. Okay. So now we can go back. But first, I should... Uh, let's get rid of this. We're going to go over here. Because we're going to investigate... Uh, that little thing that I left behind. Might as well see what's going on with that. Might as well, might as well. All right, the sound was a little bit weird there for a second because I uh, popped out of the window just to check on the recording. So the sound uh, 
I mean, well, there might just be no sound right there. Okay, so what should be pinned here? Silence is golden, yeah. I'm gonna pin that. And then we concentrate. Aha. Uh -huh. That's just me not paying attention. There I go. I was here, young and passionate about the truth. My boss stood close to me. He was keen on my attending every official event that I might prepare myself for the crown service. Lucky for you, that was the last time he did it. Concentrate, Sherry. So what was happening here? Tribune? Here. A trib no, Tribune. I'm thinking of Tribunal. But the stage is Tribune. Tense pose, clenched fist, fake smile. The governor gave his speech there. He was lying through his teeth and nobody noticed or didn't want to. But I noticed. I was extremely irritated by his lies. I shouted my opinions very loudly for everyone to hear. The crowd went wild. So what else? Oh no, it's me. Mycroft dragged me off, I guess, for starting a riot. Yeah. Mycroft Took me away. And then he beat me. No, he's giving me a talking to. He told me that I should keep my mouth shut. And that silence is golden. I couldn't stand for that. Why is every orphan a genius? Holmes's famous adherence to justice was born here. Hmm. I guess that's the story. This is where my adherence to justice was born, as John would put it. Let you guys read this here. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna read it too. Literally just ended the governor's whole career. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Not exactly a yeah, I was looking for the fast travel thing. Not exactly a quiet child in every sense of the word. So it's gotta be somewhere around here, right? Somewhere near the bridge. I keep using this one. I keep using the red marker, even though that one doesn't disappear. And I think the game told me that the ones that disappear are the ones that. that... Would murder us all. Mark my words. This is a new case. Could you help me? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. I mean, I'm just trying to ask you what the hell happened. Fuck it, whatever. Let's see. Destruction and trampled ground. Straight up murdered. does not look like a particularly normal case here. 
What the hell? Well, let's have a look around then, huh? Pet hogs. A coal gas tank. Enough to pump up an airship. A sailor's knife useful for cutting wet and thick ropes. Sabotage. I've seen a lot of use. The blade is worn from grinding. What else is important around here? Fresh signs of impact. The rough landing led to an altercation with this shed. Hmm. So what do we have here? Recent night gate was broken from the inside. Coal gas tanks fell. Hitting the wall, dropping their knife. A harsh landing. Someone fell, broke the power top, broke the flower pot in the process, dropping a knife. Well, I suppose this can't be ignored any longer. He was certainly under pressure. Funny. Fortunate you were not. Yeah, you got fucked up. What happened over here? Kneecap reduced to splinters. Okay. Shattered kneecap. Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. A belt from a dressing gown. Curious. Yep. Missing finger. Missing fingers. Middle aged. It's none other than Theodore Gilbert. Oh boy, Sherlock. Another death means another question. And we shall answer the question. It's far too interesting to give it up to the police. An amount of attention that most can only dream of. Looks like we'll be going inside in a second. And this is where the balloon was. Didn't we get to fly in it as children? I doubt it could hold my weight today. Let's start putting the evidence together as we go along. Hmm. Cause of death uncertain because of his injuries. No, these two things are unrelated. I didn't think they would be the second I just looked at them. There's something more here. What are we looking at? A strong pull broke this niche. An adult elephant? So where the hell would it where the hell would that thing have gone then? Poke the elephant with this. Really? People are hopeless. Trail of blood. A pool of blood and saliva. Possibly as a result of injury. Sherlock, take a picture of the footprint. It's valuable evidence. This photograph can help us find the old article about the elephant. The front page was fascinating. It was hard to believe as a child. True. We may need it in our investigation. So why was why is that evidence and this isn't evidence? Well, there's the elephant's footprints. And it tore off in that direction, and then where the hell did it go from there? Even the most fastidious. This is quite comfortable. 
I'm guessing the house is locked. Yep. Well, let's start piecing things together here. Animal suspect. How do we lose track of an elephant? Oh, what's your little challenge then, huh? A newspaper article from our childhood. Science journals would have been published 10 years ago. Oh, so he wants us to actually find the story of the elephant. Owned a wild animal, and I'm guessing that's what fucked him up. The Goliath. The elephant Goliath may have attacked him to break free. How do you know its name is Goliath? Man, this guy really... This man really is the world's greatest detective. He's seeing all the details that I'm missing. Maybe there's a collar. Maybe it's a nickname. Or maybe it was on the collar somewhere and I'm just not paying attention. Oh no, it's a, yeah, it is a really a different animation every time. So, let's start from the beginning then, huh? He was attacked by an unknown assailant while the anim while the elephant was asleep. Poke. Or did the elephant attack him here? I feel like if that happened, he wouldn't have been able to cover this distance. No, more likely. Unless. Yes. The elephant dragged him over here. See, if there was blood over here, he had to have gotten fucked up over there in that direction. Was he dragged here by a person? Or attacked by an elephant? The elephant flung an attacker in this direction. The man took off running. How far does this scene go? It looks like it's only those three steps. So let's get back to putting this all together. What happens if I validate it incorrectly? Because this is the only one that I'm kind of doubting. I haven't doubted myself before. So it's definitely not as simple as someone running off. The elephant bashed an unknown third party in this way. Was he chased in this direction? Or was he dragged here? What happened over here? Was he attacked by an unknown third party? That wouldn't explain what happened over there. No. I think it was more likely that the elephant got the better of him and then dragged him over here. Because if he was chased in this direction, that wouldn't explain the blood, unless I do the one where he was fighting with the elephant. Or poking it. Plus, these are clearly drag marks, so he definitely didn't run. He was likely dragged. And if he was dragged by a third party, that wouldn't explain this whole situation with the elephant. I think this is the correct situation that we're looking at right here. Could be wrong, but eh. In a fit of rage, the elephant broke the chain and threw its victim on the ground with a fierce pounce. Escaping the scene, it pulled the body with it, but dropped it at the gate. At least some of this was witnessed by a third party who was hurled against the shed. The elephant can't have gone too far, I can still track it. Well, suppose you find it, then what? 
push it all the way back to Looks the like mirror. John approves of my findings, so I'm guessing I got the correct answer here. Hmm. Couldn't have gone too far. Must have been some witnesses. So let's ask around. He was certainly under pressure. Well, now that joke makes sense. Well, let's ask these lovely people, see if they saw anything. You, sir. I return to talk to you again. You know anything about this? That's a question I can answer. The elephant named Goliath crossed the Greek bridge in the direction of the forest where Theodore used to walk it. Oh, so people actually knew about it. Its tracks lead to the forest. What forest, though? This way, maybe? I mean, the tracks are... Where are the tracks? I mean, do I have to follow it from, like, over here? These clacks are... These tracks are clearly visible. And then they kind of vanish. I guess that kind of looks like a forest, but... It crossed the bridge towards the forest. Oh, so I have to go all the way over there. I'm guessing it's over here somewhere. Uh, first and foremost, we should visit the archives, right? Court on the Chronicle, the police station, the... Uh, so what is this? A newspaper archive. Probably at the Cordona Chronicle, then. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, let's go and... Uh, might as well see what... That tells us, and then we'll just fast travel here. So it looks like it's, I don't know, maybe I'll just mark over here while I head over to the Chronicle. Uh, let's place Elephant's Life on the map right uh, Yeah, there. Oh, I have to put it on like a street or something. And we'll teleport right over here. Because I haven't unlocked a fast travel by the Chronicle. Let's go see. Oh, I like that load time. Nice. All right. Excuse me, small child. Is this the Chronicle? There's a cop in front of it. Makes me feel like I can do something there. Nope. Excuse me. News kiosk. Aha. Excuse Hello, me, sir. Me, sir. Oh, wait, you know, you don't operate this thing. There, wait, this isn't a news kiosk. Where's the... Oh. Sir. Let me just... Let me unpin this so I don't ask him about it. No, nothing new. Nothing about an elephant just tearing ass down the street. Well, I guess I don't know how recent that that was. Where's the Chronicle? Is it, is it, where's the, over here? Where the hell's the, hold up. Oh, it's on my right. Oh, here? No. Well, I see it on the map now. Uh, there it is, there we go. Hello. I require the use of your records. Stop the pressing. Who 
Lord Podolno's handsome stranger, or Nosebaggerson's local life. Wait, uh, no. Scottish foreigner hides dark past. I, uh, um... Oh, you've made quite the impression already, Mr. Holmes. You care to tell your side of the story? I'm quite certain I have no idea as to what you refer, and I am further certain I have no interest in indulging your gossip. Gossip? The truth will come out, but will only be heard if told well. Scandal, daring do, romance. These are the tools of every good journalist. Nothing travels faster or lasts longer than a great story. Young man, your tale will be told with or without me. My readers demand it. You already knew my name and seem aware of my doings here in Cordona. I presume this newspaper is your little endeavor? <laughs> Yadmin Sertel, editor-in-chief of the Cordona Chronicle. Advocate of the free press, voice of the people, scourge of the silk stockings. Charmed, I'm sure. As an advocate of the free press, I trust you'll permit me to consult your archives? There are gaps in my knowledge of Cordona. Oh, so my work does have merit. Well, I think we can strike a bargain. I shall provide you access, and you let me keep writing about your exploits. So be it. Brooding bachelor builds bridges. Now that's character development. I guess I owe you my gratitude. What can I say? I've always enjoyed working with the Holmes. They whisper such interesting things. You must know my brother, huh? I'm watching you closely, Mr. Holmes. Uh, Sherlock and women. It's always a interesting thing. Okay. First night is written by a science journalist, published ten years ago. Uh, current year is 1880, so it would have been here. Would have been a science journalist. Okay. Um, a front page story. Yep, Lord of All Beasts by Ian Menzies. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, yeah, elephants That's are beautiful. fascinating. Feeling old already. Little challenge from John. Yeah, okay. Some useful information. For reference. So I suppose now we get back to it. Uh, this is uh, cross the Goblin Bridge and head for the forest. Okay, so over here somewhere I guess cannot fast travel while indoors I'm not quite sure why seems to be a common motif in all these uh, free roam sort of games these open world environments I am happy with how the game is opening up though I thought it seemed kind of hollow when I first started playing it like an unnecessary open world but now these things are uh, getting much more interesting. Isn't this thing supposed to delete itself when I complete it? I can see the balloon in the distance. All right. Aha, the tracks. This elephant's quite clumsy. So you found some interesting things here, John. Well, let's continue to follow the trail here. Ah, yes. I have to have this pinned in order to track it. Olive oil. The elephant barge thinks this cart is olive oil. Why is it lucky hmm. he slipped and fell somewhere along the way?
There you go. Oh, oh, I think I just kind of lost myself there for a second. Ah, here we go. Uh, 